Certified to teach yoga, studied four languages, and a professional badminton player, and a passionate equestrian? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but with all these royals, there is more than meets the eye. If you're one of his many Instagram followers, then you already know that Marius borg of Norway leads a rather glam life. The son of Crown Princess, Meta Marit, resides in Los Angeles, leaving behind his royal life to study in the States. In a statement addressing his move to America, the palace said, Hoibi will not conduct any official activities on the royal family's behalf. He celebrated his 21st birthday in 2018, and even though you won't get a title if you marry him, he's still considered one of the biggest royal catches out there to date. The Observer described he was reportedly looking for love in 2018, and added, Hoibi is Norway's most eligible royal, and he just might be the most eligible royal in the world world, especially now that Prince Harry is no longer available. In 2018, he was spotted strolling through London with former Playboy model Julian Snekestad. All of the royals we cover could pass as models, but Denmark's Prince Nikolai is the real deal. The prince signed with Danish agency Scoop Models in 2018 and made his debut at London Fashion Week in February of that year. The son of Prince Joachim and Alexandra, Countess of Fredericksborg, were also booked by Burberry for the event. Dior came calling not long after that, and Nikolai was faced with a tough decision. Should he take up modeling as a career or stick with his military education? According to Royal Central, the prince was initially signed up for two years of military training at the Royal Danish Army Sergeant School when he started attracting attention from designers. In the end, Nikolai decided that a career in the military just wasn't for him, and his parents gave him their support to pursue the things he truly cared about. His father, Prince Joachim, explained that Nikolai is free to make his own decisions regarding his future, saying, Nikolai's future shall be conducted entirely by his own plan. So like Mary Poppins. Prince Nikolai of Denmark isn't the only royal to grace the catwalk. A homegrown royal model, Lady Amelia Windsor has walked for Dolce & Gabbana and Dior to name a few. As the granddaughter of Queen Elizabeth's cousin, Amelia is 38th in Britain's line of succession, yet very much a favorite of the late monarch. Amelia has become a staple at fashion shows since making her debut on the scene, and regularly attends them to take in the latest trends. This minor royal is certainly living the high life, but she's also preached the importance of staying grounded, telling Elle, "...it's important to remember that what you see on Instagram is not reality. Twitter or Instagram? Instagram. Is Princess Siri Wanari Nari Ratana of Thailand the most talented royal in the world? It's a question that High Society Mag Tatler asked in 2018, pointing to the Thai beauty's many achievements. The only daughter of King Wachira Longkon is a fashion designer, a professional badminton player, and a passionate equestrian. The princess trains six days a week, despite having suffered some pretty serious injuries while on horseback. When asked about her injuries, she told Tatler magazine, I've broken my leg, I have a screw in my left foot, but I have never given up. I put all my efforts into achieving achieving my goals. She's clearly one tough cookie and not willing to settle in the relationship department. The only Prince Charming in her life as of now is a horse. Seriously, one of her horses is named Prince Charming. Any would-be suitors that can't ride should probably start learning how to play a musical instrument immediately, because Siri Wanari has also expressed an interest in helping the Royal Bangkok Symphony Orchestra become a world-class outfit. German-born Princess Claire of Luxembourg has the brains to match her beauty. Claire has studied history, German, English, which she speaks fluently, along with French and Italian, psychology, and art. She spent some time at the Atlanta International School in her younger years and also studied for two years in Switzerland, which is reportedly where she met Prince Felix, the second son of the Grand Duke and Duchess of Luxembourg. They had two ceremonies when they became man and wife in 2013, one in Germany as per the traditions of the bride's hometown and one in France. Today, they live in Switzerland with their two children, Princess Amalia and Prince Liam of Nassau. They aren't full-time working members of the Grand Ducal family, but that doesn't mean they've had to get regular jobs to make ends meet. According to RTL Today, Claire's father, Hartmut Lademacher, is a former IBM executive and founder of LHS Telecommunication, whose fortune has been valued at around $670 million. The couple reportedly spends their days running Lademacher's winery for him. As the daughter of Prime Minister and Vice President of the United Arab Emirates and ruler of Dubai, Sheikha Maitha has some serious clout in the Arab world, and we don't just mean politically. Sheikha is skilled in both karate and taekwondo, and even represented her country in the latter at the 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing, becoming the first woman from the United Arab Emirates to compete in the Games. She told Sport360, I have carried the UAE flag at many championships before, global and regional, but doing the same in Beijing is a different feeling, something completely different. She also became the first woman from the UAE to win a gold medal in karate at the Asian Games, but nowadays, she seems to be focused on polo. She told Gulf News in 2019, In the 90s, women competing in sport was unheard of, but my father was the first person to support women in sports. 
Princess Charlene of Monaco has lived quite an interesting life. Even before the blonde beauty married Prince Albert II and relocated from South Africa to Monaco to begin life as a royal, she proved that her stunning looks weren't her only admirable attribute. Charlene began swimming professionally at age 18 and even went on to compete in the 2000 Sydney Olympics. The princess also had the opportunity to compete in the 2008 Beijing Olympics Games, but she retired from swimming just one year before. It turns out that Prince Albert met Charlene at a swimming competition in Monaco. Albert and Charlene faced hardship after an ear, nose, and throat surgery prevented the princess from flying back to Monaco. She spent months in South Africa recovering, and she opened up to South Africa's News 24 about how difficult it was being away from her family. The princess shared, "'It's been a trying time for me. I miss my husband and children dearly. Albert is my rock and strength, and without his love and support, I would not have been able to get through this painful time." The princess returned back home to Monaco with Albert and their two children in March 2022. The late Queen Elizabeth II's great-grandson, Sam Chado, might not be the most well-known British royal, but he's certainly one of the most eye-catching. Sam's mother is Lady Sarah Chado, and his father is Daniel Chado, an artist and actor who has starred in films like Quartet and Little Dorrit. It seems that Sam may have inherited some of his father's artistic abilities, because he studied history of art at the University of Edinburgh and later became a potter. In January 2019, Sam took to Instagram to reveal that he spent time in Scotland learning about ceramics. 2018 was such an incredible year of self-reflection and growth for me. I spent six weeks in the very north of Scotland, immersed in pottery and ceramics, being taught by the most patient and passionate potter. Clay consumed my every waking hour, and I'm so excited to see what I can achieve this year." In a separate post about his travels, Sam shared that he also completed yoga instructor training in India. He explained that he doesn't plan to teach classes in the near future. While Sam might not be as high up in the line of succession as some of his relatives, how many British royals can say they're certified to teach yoga? According to Hello Magazine, only Sam. Princess of Wales Kate Middleton is often dubbed one of the most beautiful members of the British royal family. Very excited. <laughs> she has become known for her classic beauty over the years, as well as her fashion sense. The princess makes her beauty look effortless, but it turns out that there's quite a lot that goes into her iconic look. Former royal doctor Anna Hemming spoke to Hello Magazine about the British royal family's beauty secrets. She told the outlet, "...it's not an accident or by chance that the royal family have radiant skin. They understand how important it is for their skin to reflect their health." Hemming shared that staying active is also an important part of the royal family's beauty routine. Middleton reportedly uses a number of beauty products to maintain her healthy skin. She's reportedly a fan of serums and skincare oils. The mother of three underwent major changes in 2017 that gave her a fresh new look. A number of beauty experts allege that the royal switched up her makeup technique and took on a more natural glow. Rachel Hall of Eyebrow Envy pointed out one of the biggest changes Middleton made to her routine. She shared that the princess's eyebrows have a much softer look than they did in previous years, explaining, "...I think that while her brows look a shade lighter, it's the actual tone of them that makes the biggest difference." Wow, you're pretty. Good. You've hit on me. We can get it out of the way that I am not interested. No. Before Meghan Markle married Prince Harry and became the Duchess of Sussex, her beauty was put on display on Deal or No Deal. She spoke about her experience on the show during an episode of her Archetypes podcast, and it seems that she prefers to be appreciated for her smarts as well as her stunning looks, revealing, "...we were even given spray tan vouchers each week because there was a very cookie-cutter idea of precisely what we should look like. It was solely about beauty and not necessarily about brains." The mother of two went on to share why she wasn't a fan of her role on the game show, saying, "...I didn't like feeling forced to be all looks and little substance, and that's how it felt for me at the time, being reduced to the specific archetype. While it seems that Markle doesn't want an emphasis placed on her looks, she still has plenty of beauty secrets up her sleeve." Markle revealed some of her favorite skincare products during an interview with Allure in 2017. She told the magazine, "...I play around. I love Jan Marini skincare products. I've been using their serum lately. It's a nice glycolic one that makes your skin really glowy. And I really love the Tatcha Rice Enzyme Powder." Markle shared she also uses a lash serum to maintain long, full eyelashes. John Christophe Bonaparte, also known as Prince Napoleon, is a descendant of Napoleon's youngest brother, Jerome Bonaparte. He is also a distant relative of the royals of the United Kingdom, Belgium, and Luxembourg. Although John Christophe is related to some of the most well-known royals, he decided to carve his own path. The handsome businessman's LinkedIn reveals that he co-founded Leon Capital, where he's also a managing partner. He received his MBA from Harvard Business School and previously worked for Morgan Stanley as an investment banking analyst. The royal was taken off the market in 2019 by Count 
Countess Olympia von Unzu Arco Zinneberg. Interestingly, the Countess is related to Napoleon's second wife. Maybe these two were destined to meet. After all, they have quite a lot in common. Olympia also received degrees from Ivy League schools. She attended Yale and Columbia, where she studied political science and art history, according to the court jeweler. 